So what's up kings and queens? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me here on my channel today. I am the Eva Monroe. I hope everyone had an amazing holiday. And today I have, I'm going to share some new fragrances with you guys. I'm going to share an amazing Black Friday deal with you guys. But I'm also going to have a little bit of a rant in this video. Now, I want you guys to know that I previously, I already recorded this video. But for the reason that I have a tiny rant, I had to go back and do this video over again. Because one thing that I always have a problem with is deception. Sometimes reviewers get a bad rep about you know, oh, they're lying, oh, they're being paid, oh, they're... So, I try to keep things... Or no, I don't try. I keep things as transparent over here as I possibly can. If I'm getting paid, I'll tell y'all I'm getting paid. If it was sent to me for free, I'm going to tell y'all it was sent to me for free. If it's a clone, I'm going to tell y'all it's a clone, right? So, I have some good stuff to talk about today. Um... I have some really good stuff to talk about. If you guys saw me on live um, Friday, was it Friday? No, Wednesday night. Then you guys know one of the fragrances that I'm actually going to be talking about today. But um, first, I'm going to talk about some fragrances that I was sent by a company. Um, a fragrance house, a company by the name of Juliana's Perfume reached out to me. And they said, we want to send you some of our fragrances, some of our sample sets. And I was like, hey, I'm all, I'm down for the new, new. Y'all know over here on this channel, I am always for the underdog, the new fragrance company, the people that are just trying to get their feet off the ground. I'm all about that type of stuff. I tell you guys all the time, some of those small indie houses have some amazing creations to offer. But... Here's the thing. I want you guys to understand this first and foremost. I don't have a problem with clones, okay? And when I first started my channel, I actually spent time talking about and reviewing clones. I don't have a problem with clones. I own some clones. Um, most of the clones I own are along the lines of body oils because I love to use them for the purpose of layering and blending, but I don't have a problem with clones. Um, I'm a fan of Honey from Alexandria Fragrances. I'm a fan of Be Layered, but there is some transparency that needs to occur when you are a clone house. I have smelled, I won't say everything, but I have smelled so many fragrances I have smelled more fragrances than most people, I, I could honestly say. And I never forget what I've smelled. That's the thing about it. So when I smell stuff, it triggers a scent memory in my brain. Then I'm like, hmm. So I received the fragrances from Juliana's Perfume. And my husband and I sat there because um, he likes to smell stuff with me. And I was like, hey, let's smell these, you know. So we're playing in them. And some of them, I'm like, wow, these are good. So yesterday was Thanksgiving. And I was tired of running around smelling like turkey dressing and sweet potatoes and everything else I cooked. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to shower. I'm going to cover myself in Wicked Fantasy. So I cover myself in Wicked Fantasy. And... Again, my brain is like, girl, you know this. You know this smell. So I went to Cairo and I was like, does this smell like Cairo? No, it doesn't smell like Cairo. And I went through about 10 bottles on my shelf and I realized, I was like, oh my God, this is a dupe of Oud Bouquet. And then I, I further played. I kept playing and every now and again, I would spray something and I would be like, well, this smells exactly like so and so and so and so. So then upon further investigation, I realized that I, I actually, I didn't want to bother anybody um, yesterday because it was Thanksgiving. So I waited until this morning and I sent an email to the company and I said, hey, 
are these clones? <laughs> First, I checked the website. No mention of Inspired By. I was looking on their Instagram. No mention of it. No mention of it. And they responded back to me. They're not clones. They're inspirations. Now, let me tell you my issue here. Because like I said, I don't have a problem with clones. I have two issues, though. Issue number one, we don't really need another clone house do we there are some people out there who are doing this they're doing it well they're very transparent about the fact that they're a clone house and and we're good we have several oil companies we have honey we have dua we have we're we we're good okay but my biggest issue is again transparency like i say this all the time don't put a weave ponytail on a pit bull and try to tell me it's a Shetland pony because I want a Shetland pony but I don't think my husband wants me to have a Shetland pony and we already have two ponies so to speak <laughs> so I'm quite irritated about that and if you come across this company if this company contacts you or if you have watched another reviewer and you're interested in trying home these are clones okay and the only problem I have is let's give credit to the original creator. I don't care if you're being savvy of the earth and you have only natural ingredients in yours or you have removed one ingredient and you I don't care if if someone inspired you to create then darn it give the person who inspired you credit. And don't ever try to deceive the queen as far as fragrances are concerned. Because she has smelled every... I've smelled everything y'all are going to clone. Because y'all only clone stuff that people really like. And that reviewers hype up. And that people know about. So, thank you very much. Happy Thanksgiving. And enter Juliana's territory at your own risk now let's get on to the good stuff because that was seven minutes and 38 seconds of my life that I will never get back but I don't like deception so to speak now the very first fragrance you guys that I'm going to share with you today that I feel like if you can find it on a Black Friday deal you better run out and get this and it is Killian's Angel Share a lot of people been hyping this up. I've seen a lot of people talk about this thing. And even through all of that, I was like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> so I went to Saks to smell it. I smelled it. It's been a while back. And they were sold out of it. So the essay actually loaded me down on samples. I started wearing those samples and I was like, oh, this is something. So... Oh, this is Cognac, Cinnamon, Tonka, Oak, Praline, Vanilla, and Sandalwood. You guys, I said, Killian's back. He's back, y'all. He's back. I, I really put this up there with B2B and Black Phantom. I really do. Y'all know that I've been, I've sold more Killian bottles in the past year than I have purchased <laughs> I have um and I've really been kind of upset and irritated and I'm like the whole my kind of love thing that was okay the all uh, fresh love don't be shy yeah whatever sold it rolling in love it smells good but I need so much more and this is giving me so much more I the cinnamon the cognac in this thing this is so oh this is so sexy in my opinion this is really really nice i'm here for everything about this i'm here for the price because it's 195 i'm here for the presentation i'm here for the way it smells and guess what i'm here for the longevity of this thing this thing i said about a few of my previous killian purchases like what are we doing here we're struggling i feel like killian went to s day and was like have a seat i'm i'm gonna take control of this thing again i need to do something i gotta save my company i gotta save my line and he set them down and he did some stuff and this is so good this is really pretty you guys 
definitely try to get your hands on this. Saks has 15% off for their Black Friday sale of fragrances. And definitely get your hands on this if you can. All right, so the next one, this is one that I've just been wanting to buy for a while. Um, ever since I made, I kind of made a bond mistake the other week, and I'm going to share that with you guys as well. But it's Tribeca. Um, I actually, I went to Saks. I smelled My New York and Tribeca. I ended up buying My New York. And when I got home, I kept smelling Tribeca on my body. And I was like, wow, I should have, I should have bought Tribeca like I made a bad decision. So Tribeca is hazelnut, cacao, cedar, jasmine, ambroxan, caramel, and moss. And, okay, let me get this part out of the way. A lot of people are like, oh, it smells like 540. It smells like 540. It smells like 540. I don't, you guys know I'm not like the biggest fan of 540. And possibly in the ultimate dry down there's a little bit of 540-esque there but a year and a half ago I said this I said let's stop comparing everything to 540 let's just give everything its own fair shot this has a nuttiness about it in the top of the fragrance um I'm not gonna spray it on my skin because I'm covered in the phantom today and I'm getting ready to go out and do some um Black Friday shopping. I'm, I'm actually going to do some black owned Black Friday shopping today. I'm going to go to some boutiques. So, oh, this has such, it has a, a nuttiness in the top of it, but the cacao is giving me my life really pretty, very sweet. But again, it's another sexy one in my opinion. Um, It ha does have a slightly mossy dry down. Um, but this is a really nice one. I'm here for Tribeca. Someone had sent me the, a body oil and that was how I fell in love with it. And then when I went to Saks and smelled it, I was like, oh yeah, I, I, I need me some Tribeca. Now I'm, I'm about to get up, which I hate doing in the middle of a video, but I forgot. <laughs> I forgot something. Okay. I went to Saks Fifth Avenue to actually to buy angel share when they were sold out of it and i wanted to smell my new york y'all know i'm a bond number no. nine fan it's been a while since i've actually purchased a bond number no. nine i hadn't purchased any of their new releases previously like i think in the past two years i want to say i hadn't purchased anything from bond um so i smelled my new york and i actually ended up bringing it home now Ginger, pink pepper, um, rose, poppy rust, sandalwood, cashmere, and patchouli in this thing. This thing starts out like the biggest ginger blast you ever smelled. I have one fragrance that has a ginger note like this, and it is from um, St. Barth, and it's gingembre. And I don't really wear it because the ginger is so strong in that fragrance. But I enjoy this. I just, I feel like this is going to play out best in the warmer months. When I say the ginger is, I mean, the ginger and the pink pepper in, top, in the top of this thing is like so pronounced and so strong. But, um... It's nice. I just need to spend a little more time here. I don't feel like I pick up on a lot of rose in this fragrance. Um, there's a nice subtle sweetness about it. And I don't know, like, I don't know what's really bringing that about. Um, but again, very nice. I'm just going to spend some time here. I, I would say if you've had your eye on this, I would definitely sample this first. Like, don't run right out and buy this thing. You need to sample it first. So, Black Friday deal. Twisted Lily has an amazing Black Friday deal. I'm going to link the code in the description box below. Typically, my code is 10% for the next, I believe, three days. This is three, right? It will actually be 20% from Twisted Lily. So, I actually bought... um at 12 o'clock midnight because that was when it started i bought mamluck 
and I bought um, copper from Comme des Garçons. So definitely if there's something you've had your eye on and you've been waiting on it to go on sale, 20%, that is an amazing deal. Now you cannot combine that with my original 10% off code because that would be 30% and that's close to 50% and that's a lot. But definitely check them out. If you don't get anything else, if you don't try anything else, I definitely recommend the discovery kits. Like pick up some discovery kits so that you can discover some new fragrances. But thank you guys so much for listening to me today and my rant. And until I see you again, be blessed and bye for now.